Okay, this is lesson seven of module two um, for third grade uh, Engage New York. And uh, we're doing this lesson on Monday. And the goal of the lesson is for students to describe ways to decompose a kilogram. So they're actually going to decompose the kilogram as a class. That's really the activity. Your goal for them is that they can describe how it was done. So your major teaching points, first of all, a kilogram is the same weight as 1,000 grams. You want to introduce them to the abbreviation CKG and abbreviation G, again. And then this is the main idea. We can use place value to help us see the groups of grams inside a kilogram. So you're going to need materials that we've already discussed. The one that I really want to point out is that the homemade kilogram weight should look kind of different than your bag of beans, which will already be weighed out, and the bag of rice, which you're going to create as a class. Just so that they have a sense like, oh, this is a kilogram. Um, a kilogram weighs 2.2 pounds, so you can use your digital scale to check that, or just buy something that weighs a kilogram, and wrap it up. So then this is the order of the lesson. You show the kids the kilogram weight, and then you explain that it's a kg stands for kilogram. And then you use that kilogram to explore the balance. So you're using your tool that's like this right? Your actual physical tool. Um, in Engage New York, all the kids are given all these tools to explore on their own. We don't have those materials and so they'd all be sitting around the perimeter of the carpet and you would be doing this as a class. So the first thing, you really want to go through all three of these and make sure you don't miss one so I'd put it on a post-it, right? How does the kilogram weight compare to the kilogram of beans? And you ask them first and then you put them on and of course they're going to weigh the same because you said it was a kilogram of beans. Then how can we use the kilogram weight to make a bag of rice? So then as a class, you put the kilogram weight on one side, and then you keep adding rice on the other until you make a kilogram of rice. And then how does the kilogram of beans compare to the kilogram of rice? And since they're both kilogram, they should also weigh the same. I'd practice that. Finally, what you do is you take your bag of beans that looks like this. Right? It's filled with beans. And you are going to use it to make 100 grams, and then to make 10 grams, and then to make 1 gram. Um, when you do each of these steps, you follow the same four procedures. Each time you do one of these, you draw on the bag, then you measure that amount with a scale, the digital scale. Then you talk about kind of a word problem, how many grams are left in the kilogram if I take these grams away. And then you give kids time to draw this, write about this, and represent this as an equation on their problem set. So it's really important they go through all four of those steps with these three things. And basically, the pictures are there in Engage New York for you to use, but basically, you put a hundreds grid, or a tens grid, on top of the bag. You literally, you do it evenly, of course, draw on the bag in 10 chunks. Then you pour out that amount onto the digital scale to weigh that amount. So in this case you did it and you got 100 grams. You're eventually going to talk about it and then finally right the equation is 10 times 100 grams makes a thousand. Then you do this next after they've had time to write and do it on their own they split this into 10 pieces and get 10 grams, and then they split their 10 grams into 1 gram. And then they complete the problem set. Right? Students should do problems 1, 2, 4, kind of as you're going along in the class, and then they do problem 5 on their own. That's okay. That's okay.